Good morning. My name is Michael Richards. I'm the executive director of AssumeArms.com. It's an online armorial achievement database, uh, sometimes often mistakenly referred to as a coat of arms or worse yet, a family crest. So let's talk about a couple of those things. I want, I want to just get some real basics here and explain to you what is and is not a coat of arms. Okay, so let's start with the term coat of arms. A coat of arms is actually something that you've never probably seen. A coat of arms actually was a coat that the Herald wore, um, and on that coat would be this portion of the arms. These are called arms. Arms is actually a technically correct term. Um, coat of arms is not, unless you're actually referring to the coat that the uh, Herald wears. Um, but these are arms, and the entire thing, including the helm and the supporters and the motto, this whole thing is called an armorial achievement. That's the proper term. Um, but it's often referred to as a coat of arms, and most of the time everybody kind of lets that slide. What we do not let slide is calling it a family crest for two reasons. Uh, most importantly is that there's no such thing as a family anything with coat of arms. Coat of arms are always and exclusively belong to an individual, a single person or organization. They don't ever belong to a family. Now they can pass, be passed down from one generation to the next, it's fine, especially when they're granted. Um, but there's no such thing as a family anything. Uh, Crest refers to this piece right here. This part on the top, the lion in this case, um, is a crest. It goes on top of the helm. And those are also granted. And again, in the U.S., there is no granting authority. So um, we kind of foot loose and fancy free here. But uh, a crest is usually granted uh, in the same way that the arms are. So the whole thing is an armorial achievement. This part right here is the only part that really matters when you get right down to it. These are the arms. This is the shield or escutcheon and its charges. These, all these things are charges and this is a shield division. Okay? Um, if you ever see a family name here or here, like Richards, Howard, Johnson, whatever, you are in possession of a complete fake. Um, what they typically do is find somebody in the past whose name was Richards, for example, uh, which is my last name, and they put Richards above that person. Now, that may have indeed been a coat of arms for a Richards at one point, but it was a very specific Richards at a very specific time and point in history. Um, so those are fake. Those are not yours. Um, they belong to someone else, and they're just a complete fraud. So it's fine if you want to assume your own, but you need to make them yourself. You need to research. You need to look into, and that's kind of what I do. Um, I offer to register arms for free to anyone uh, because I just want a, a great place for them to be located. But what I do is offer advice, and I do the artistic work. Um, this is this is a sample of my work. So is this. Um, both of these are mine. These are created in Illustrator. These are print-ready files. Um, uh, they're hand-drawn, but they are uh, you know digital in nature, and they are you can print them from business card to billboard and uh, they'll, they'll go on anything. They're called vector files. Um, so that's what I do. That's how I get paid. Um, I prefer to uh, let people, anybody register their arms for free as long as they want and if they'd like help creating some really professional and nice looking arms then that's what I help you do. So if you want arms and uh, correctly called an armorial achievement visit assumearms.com uh, look around you know, ask questions, call me, doesn't matter, I'm here for you. Uh, happy to help you out and answer any of your questions.